Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 26th of July. I'm James Spann. A nice dry air mass stays in place today, and really things look pretty quiet through a pretty good part of the weekend ahead, but next week, rain chances will be increasing. Check it out. Very familiar look there this morning. We've seen this for the past several days. A very strong upper high over the southwest United States. A heat dome, blazing heat there. A nice refreshing trough over the east. That's brought flooding to parts of the Atlantic Coast region, and that's pulled down a dry air mass in here, and it feels pretty good this morning. Look at uh, Coleman, 62. Fort Payne at 63. That's not bad for late July. Birmingham at 70. But we'll be up in the low 90s today, maybe mid-90s in West Alabama, but uh, the humidity fairly low. There's the watch warning map around the nation today. We note that uh, Jefferson and Shelby counties are highlighted there in gray. That is an air quality alert today for ground-level ozone. And again, heat problems continue back in the southwest. There's the severe weather outlook today. North Alabama should be dry. A few widely scattered showers for the south, but not very many. Tomorrow, a couple of marginal risks to the north. Uh, up in the northeastern states, a surface front coming through there. Maybe a few severe storms around New York City and Philadelphia, Baltimore. But the front down here probably won't have much of an impact. The moisture limited, no dynamic support. And then day three on Saturday, I think we'll be in dry air again. So even though you see a lot of green there, I think most of the state should be dry. QPF, this is the rain for the next seven days, about two inches for much of Alabama. And again, after the weekend, things look kind of unsettled next week with a number of showers and storms around each day. Tropical weather, nothing to talk about. The Atlantic, very quiet. Good news for beachgoers. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06C run at one o'clock today. Heat bubble over the southwest, nice cool trough over the Great Lakes. And again, nice and quiet, mostly sunny with low 90s today. Tomorrow, that surface boundary approaches from the north. And we'll mention a slight chance of a shower late in the day, but I think everybody's going to be dry. This is the high-res NAM tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, and it's basically got nothing over the northern half of the state. So typically fronts bring a number of showers and storms this time of the year, but in this case, probably not. Saturday, the northern half of the state should be in pretty dry air. Dew points come down. The high will be around 90, but the humidity should be a touch lower. This is Sunday. Again, it looks like the better chance of showers and storms across the south, but I think we'll mention at least, at least the chance of an afternoon storm for the north. The high Sunday, again, should be around 90. And then Monday, that's when moisture levels rise. A number of showers and storms around highs in the 80s, and that'll be the case through much of the week. This is Tuesday. And this is Wednesday, occasionally cloudy with scattered to numerous showers and storms. And a week from today, Thursday the 2nd of August, trough axis to the west and looks pretty moist with a number of showers and storms. So again, next week looking relatively wet. This is going out about 10 days. This is Saturday the 4th of August, same thing, trough axis to the west. And again, a number of showers and storms around. Highs in the low 90s for the next several days, but look at next week. This is suggesting maybe low 80s on a couple of days. That's because of clouds and showers, so no heat problems next week. And again, this is the CPC outlook for August 2nd through August 9th. The big B and the blue below average. And like we've been talking about, that's a perfect time of the year for that around here because that is the typical peak of the summer heat. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.